The situation where my background was an issue is every single day in the tech ecosystem. As a female entrepreneur, we represent a small minority of folks who are actually getting funded, who are getting um, business deals compared to male entrepreneurs. The investor landscape in the startup ecosystem is predominantly 96% male. 7% of venture capital funds actually go to female entrepreneurs. And so when I met my co-founder, Lisa Wang, serendipitously through a mutual friend, we naturally started talking about the experiences that female entrepreneurs were having in the ecosystem. Her as a female founder with a male 37-year-old co-founder going into meetings and being disregarded as someone who is secondary to the white male who is always considered to be the CEO. Or encountering VCs who leverage their power dynamic and position to take advantage of um, females. So getting invited out to drinks and then you know, subsequently having the VC follow her back to her hotel and refusing to leave until she had sat, sat down on the curb and waited for his Uber to come. And that interest that he had in his company magically disappeared after that situation. And I've heard many, many of these stories as someone who's helping early stage companies raise venture capital. So naturally, we thought there has to be a better, and stronger community for women to support each other. And so that was the start of SheWorks. And that was the start of us bringing together our mutual female founder friends eventually introducing mentors to lead these events, and then scaling to really a global movement in six cities in a year and a half. Um, we have a reach of now 20,000 in a very, very short amount of time. So that truly speaks to the demand for what it is that we're creating, and that's a community of ambitious entrepreneurs who are just serious about supporting each other and, and making progress in their business.